Hey, it's voice actor Kelly Wilson. So on this week's episode of Real Talk, do you have a community college, a state college, or even a university, and do they have a program that suits your brand? Go find out. I'll cover why you should care this week on the podcast. All right, if you got questions for me, please email me your questions, and hopefully I can cover it here on the podcast. Kelly at kellywilsonvo.com, and Kelly is K-E-L-L-Y, the right way to spell it. Mostly kidding, kind of. All right, advisory councils at state colleges. What? This week on the podcast. You know, it doesn't have to be a state college. Um, when, I was, when I was a kid, it was called a community college. Um, fancy word of state college now, university, anything like that. So for about three or four years now, I've been on a advisory council for a program at a local community college near where I live, their digital media program. So they reached out to me, and honestly, I didn't, I'm like, what's an advisory council person? What is that? <laughs> college of Southern Idaho, where um, is near me. I used to work there, and I still work with them. I retain them as a client now that I'm a voice actor. And when I was working there, they have a digital media program. So you can go to school there and learn digital media, anything from, you know, Photoshop to building a website to video. Um, They even have, you know, they even have themselves like a little studio. I wouldn't say voiceover is a big thing they do, but it is somewhat covered. And if someone does have an interest, they can cover it. I am part of that advisory council. At the end of each either semester or year, depending on when the students are graduating, the students show off their final projects and they talk about it, which if you've ever done a live presentation in front of your peers or people, it is frightening. So it's, it's adorable to see them um, push through their fears. And I love that. And I love supporting them in that way. I was young once, remember? <laughs> I used to dye my hair for funsies, not to cover up gray. Now it's both. So back to this advisory council. So they asked me to be on it. I didn't even know what it was, but the students show off their end of year projects. And then um, there are a group of people who are on the advisory council. Those in industry, you know, give feedback, give feedback on their projects and then give feedback on the on the program and give feedback on what they are seeing at whatever conferences they attend or in their industry or, you know, things they've heard of. Um, and suggestions for the program. And this is anywhere from a one semester to a two-year program. There is so much to cover in digital media. And I'm always pushing for, you know, being able to market and uh, side hustle and uh, freelance. And if you're going to be a freelancer, (laughs) you get to do your craft, but you also get me. I'm an engineer. I'm the custodian. I'm the sales, I'm the marketing, I'm the voice actor, sometimes I'm the copywriter, sometimes I'm the producer. And I'm sure there's other jobs I left out. In digital media, there are similar situations. You can go and you can work for a radio, TV station, an advertising agency, a corporation, but you can also work for yourself. So I'm always pushing for that side hustle, that marketing piece thing. So why should you care? and Why should you seek this out? Well, if you're a voice actor or really anyone else in digital media, for example, really most of the people listen to this podcast are voice actors or, you know, agencies or digital media peeps, as I like to call them. So, you know, that's your realm. OK, so find that. If it's not, if you're like top dog salesperson, advisor counsel for business. One, networking, even locally. And I'm most of my work is not local, but it sure doesn't hurt. Two, socializing. <laughs> After 2020, sometimes you need to get out, right? You need to socialize. Three, are you hiring interns? Why not? These students at this, uh, in this digital media program, sweet pool of potential interns or potential hires. When I was first, first starting out, some of these student graphic designers were fantastic, had lower rates, slower turnaround times because, you know, they're doing like all the things. But um, they were great to work with and um, I could afford them at the time. So that's a good option, too. Now, I mentioned networking, but I want to expand on that. So in this advisory council, it's for digital media. So there's people from radio and TV. There's production companies. There's uh, advertising agencies, audio, video, stage performance people. You just never know. I mean, for me, as a voice actor, I could could do VOs for any and all 
There's even a corporation who's part of it, and their media director who works at the corporation is there. So there's corporations, there's large businesses, small businesses. So it's kind of a nice gamut of, of industry. And, dude, it's networking. It's free. It's easy. It's, like, laid back. Plus, there's a purpose to listen and to pump up these students, give feedback. It's a really easy, safe networking env environment. Hey, networking's important. I get it. I'm a fan. It's just I'm awkward. So, yeah, I can be super awkward. Plus, they do scholarships. So if, if you are, you know, um, it's a great way to give back if you can. I know some people donate um, equipment, and I've got a couple of pieces of equipment here in my studio that um, I could sell, but I'm like, let me just give it to these students. So I'm looking at that, and down the road, you never know. Maybe I want to be an adjunct teacher. Maybe they'll keep me in mind. I don't know. Maybe I never want to do that after homeschooling my, uh, my oldest. It's a fun, easy way to give back, and, and eventually I do want to hire an intern. So think about it. If you have a college, community college, a state college, a university near you, even if it's farther away, these advisory council meetings that I attend are once a semester. And I don't even think summer is covered. It's just fall and spring. So it, it could be worth traveling. So think about it. It's an easy peasy way to network and help someone out, help your community out, and could help you out too. If you hire voice actors, check me out. My demos, info about my studio, where I came from, video examples, all the things. KellyWilsonVO.com. So what questions do you have for me? Voiceover questions? Other weird questions? Sure, send them my way. I'd love to cover them here on the podcast. Email me your questions to Kelly at KellyWilsonVO.com. K-E-L-L-Y, the right way to spell Kelly. Bring on the hate mail. Ah! Ratings and reviews are always appreciated. Um, and are really helpful. So hook up the stars, man. Um, don't forget to share this podcast with someone who could use it, enjoy it, send it their way. If you need more voice actors for your roster, you can download my freebie, Five Fantastic Voice Actors for Your Roster, right now. KellyWilsonVO.com slash subscribe. Check out the podcast weekly everywhere or direct at anchor.fm slash KellyWilsonVO. Thank you so much. Have an awesome day.